I was watching a Joe Rogan talking to Ben Shapiro. Something about eight, if everyone got eighty thousand dollars, they'd blow it. Man, if I got eighty thousand dollars, I wouldn't fix my teeth. I wouldn't. I wouldn't get laser eye surgery. I wouldn't buy new clothing. I wouldn't buy a new car. I'd invest it all into being able to grow my own food and raise my own animals. I'd be frugal with that money. But you know why? Because I know the value. I know what that could mean. I'm sitting here fertilizing my watermelons a little bit more. They are doing excellent, but they take so much water. They take so much water. Oh, this takes so much water, but you know what? Every every evening I wake up, it's hot. Two, three, it's 100 degrees. And I sit outside and the clouds come. And it doesn't necessarily rain, but it gives me a reduced sunlight. The high wind has been pretty shitty, which is why with the greenhouse hot hot house, because I can't I can't use power to heat it because I, I can't I don't got I don't got fucking power. So you have to I'd have to heat it with a, I got water big 55 gallon water drums that I've hoarded. I know hoarding is a bad word, but I've hoarded these hoarding these water drums and I never knew what I was going to use them for. But now I know. I need to have them all stacked up, painted, painted black, and they'll absorb the heat from the sun. And in regards to the hot house, man, they they could blow away in in one mo in one minute. They could pff, be gone just like that, you know. And they rip; they're subject to it. But if you watch one of those Joel Stallion videos, they talk about greenhouses. He came up with this. Uh, he he heard of this idea that they were doing over in um, some sandy desert place, right? <laughs> And it was kind of the same way they built their houses. Is uh, they'd take rope and in between each of the uh, support beams, they would tie it down, and that'd keep things from flopping around as much. And uh, I was going to do that too. There's a a hot house I was thinking about buying on Amazon for like 150 bucks. It's in my price range, but of course this it's probably going to rip apart if I don't I don't make this greenhouse right. Which is why I'm questioning: Do I want it? One of their frames or do I just want to make my own because I think I can make a better hot house frame out of just what I'm using right now which is old well pipes and fence posts and trees I've cut down and partially processed to do the job it's all just kind of stick framed up it's not really all that stable but that's kind of how I build temporary but in a desert environment, nothing rots, so it tends to last a long time. Man, if I get eighty thousand dollars, oh, I'm looking at I'm looking at my mom's house. Oh, hey, the robin's here. The robin's been uh, coming by every evening, saying hi to me. You see that that I can't spend eighty thousand dollars on that house, but. I could do like 10,000 just on paint, like a good roofing paint. Cause that's the reason all that white and black right there, it's because of uh, the different colors of paint I've used. Black in the winter time to absorb heat. White in the, I'm sorry. Black in the winter time to absorb heat. White in the summertime to reflect heat. And I was gonna, that's why it's always white or black, white or black. It's like right now everything's being painted white because it's easier to see. And it doesn't get hot. Like the whole rabbit hutch right now is white. But it's winter time. It's going to be black. So that it can absorb heat. Well, that, that's why everything's white and black. Unis Honest is just coincidence. <laughs> 